I know what you're thinking, but Drebin does have a point. The world depends on war, on the war economy. Can you imagine what would happen if war just disappeared overnight? Otacon, you and Drebin both mentioned something about a war price earlier. What did you mean by that? It's a kind of market price. One that fluctuates according to demand, not only for PMCs and military industry, but for the production, distribution, and energy supply networks that support them. Hmm. It's been growing by leaps and bounds, and investors are really starting to take notice. As the fighting in any given area becomes increasingly intense and prolonged, the war price goes up. No doubt Drebin's rates are linked to that war price. The longer and bloodier a battle becomes, the higher service prices are gonna get. And to put it another way, the quieter things are, the better the bargains. Snake, we'll use the Mark II to deal with Drebin from here on out. He's what you might call a street vendor. The Mark II can act as a kind of delivery boy, connect you with it. I'm adding a Drebin menu item to the Mark II's weapon menu. Whenever you pick up multiple units of the same weapon, any extras will automatically be sold to Drebin. Any ammo that's inside gets added to your cache. In other words, you keep the ammo, and the weapon itself gets traded to Drebin for points. I see. You can then use the points you've earned to unlock ID guns or buy new weapons. Sounds good. We should assume Drebin has other agents collecting guns for him besides you, Snake. You know, freelance green collars who collect weapons in exchange for services? Guess I'll have to rely on him for now. Okay. Now go meet up with our informants, Rat Patrol. Snake, hurry and get to the rendezvous point with our informants. First, you'll have to get to the other side of that collapsed building. The only way across is straight through. Snake, the walls could come down any second. Who's there? 
Okay, Snake. Hurry to the rendezvous point. Your radar is marked with which way to go.
Yeah. 